Welcome back to Tichita Differential Equations. So in the last session we went through a couple of examples about solving ordinary differential equations uh, with separable functions. In this session we're, we're going to start a new chapter as a linear differential equations of first order. So if you can see your differential equation in the form of y prime equal to f of equation of a line that is called a linear differential equation of first order. But what was the equation of a line? So any line in a 2D dimension it's always in the form of ax plus by plus c meaning if i draw this any line in our cartesian uh, system it will be in this form this line we can see various versions of uh, this equation so what does that mean a function of this equation it means it can be in the form of 2x plus y minus 1 or in the form of sine of 3x plus y minus 5 plus 2 or it can be in the form of another example uh, e to the power of 5x minus 2y plus 1 plus the square root of 5s minus 2,1 plus 1 and so on and so forth. So as you can see in this example, y prime is equal to f of 2x plus y minus 1, which is u. Or here y prime is sine of u plus 2 or here y prime is equal to e to the power of u plus the square root of u so it, there are always in the form of y prime equal to function of ax plus by plus c so now what happens when we see this type of equation we can use a change of variable to create an ordinary differential equations that is separable That's what we are looking for. That's how we know we can solve it. So how can we do this? Let's look at an example. Y prime equal to Y minus 4X squared. So what we're going to do, this whole line equation, we're going to rewrite it as U. which in this case y minus 4x would be our u correct and then so this is a step one and then in a step two we're going to differentiate when we differentiate based on x right it's going to change to y prime minus 4 equal to u prime correct Now that being said, so we have y prime minus 4 equal to u prime, right? So from here, I can say y prime is equal to u prime plus 4, correct? Now let's take a look back at the equation that we had. What was the equation? y prime is equal to y minus 4x squared which we change this whole to u 
So y prime is equal to u squared, right? And also we have y prime equal u prime plus four. So from here, we can rewrite u squared is equal u prime plus four, correct? And mind you, remember u prime, we are talking about du dx, correct? So if we can simply solve this, u prime is equal to u squared minus four. And then if we integrate, integrate of du, uh, sorry, integral of u prime dx is equal to u squared minus 4 dx which it will be 1 over 4 ln u minus 2 over u plus 2 we already had examples similar to this plus c equal to x uh, here simply you can rewrite this as du over u2 minus 4 equal to dx u prime being du over dx so now uh, we can go back and say y minus 4x is equal to u remember And replace that so it will become 1 over 4 ln of y minus 4x minus 2 over y minus 4x plus 2 plus again instead of c you can write down ln of c to make it simpler but I'm, I'm gonna keep it as s so now you can see this is solved simply we can bring this uh, multiply this whole equations by 4 and you can solve this simplify this further so let's take a look at an, another example. In this one, we're going to say example number two, y prime is equal x plus y squared. So again, I'm going to say this is my line. So u is equal to x plus y. Therefore, u prime is equal to y prime plus 1 or y prime is equal to u prime minus 1 so I have y prime is equal to u squared that's from here and also y prime is equal to u prime minus 1 put this together u squared is equal to u prime minus 1 or u prime is equal to u squared plus 1 and then again knowing that u prime is equal to du over dx we can rewrite this as du over u squared plus one is equal to dx integrate and then you'll end up at tan inverse u is equal to x plus C or basically uh, tan inverse of what was u x plus y is equal to x plus c so if I take a tan of the whole equation so tan of tan inverse x plus y is equal to tan x plus c which gives me x plus y is equal to tangent of 
x plus c. So as you can see, this is called the first order linear differential equations. We can move on with another example as well. Uh, in this example, I want to go to a little bit more uh, complex uh, examples using e function. So here I have y prime is equal to e to the power of 2x plus y minus 1 minus 2. So again, I'm going to say u is equal to 2x plus y minus 1. And therefore, u prime is going to be 2 plus y prime. Again, remember, this is y prime is equal e to the power of u minus 2. And then y prime is equal to u prime minus 2. We put this together and we're going to have u, uh, u prime minus 2 is equal to e to the power of u minus 2 or basically u prime is equal to the e to the power of u again we know u prime is equal to du over dx which is gonna tell me this is e to the power of u is equal to du over dx therefore du over e to the power of u is equal to dx or e to the power of minus u du is equal to dx from here if you integrate you'll get to x plus c is equal to minus e to the power of minus u and we're gonna replace u with this equation right here and then we're gonna get e to the power of 2x minus 2x plus y minus 1 is equal and we have another minus here x plus c and that's how we solve these equations all right guys see you guys next time